Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, and today we're gonna uncrate the next X Villiard. Next is a Portuguese helmet manufacturer. They make all of their helmets under their own roof in Portugal. That's pretty rare these days as far as helmet manufacturers go. A lot of brands outsource the actual building of the helmet and uh, just kind of handle the marketing and, and logistics. Next is an actual helmet manufacturer. They make high quality pieces in their state of the art factory in Portugal. So <clears throat> we've come to expect nice quality helmets from them. And the X Villiard is no exception. Now they're not great at naming helmets, but they are good at building helmets. Um, some of their names are a little odd. This is a cousin to the X Villator. Actually, it's the same exact helmet with this peak added on. So this is a dual sport with a flip up front. So it's kind of a hybrid. This variant of helmet has been pretty popular over the years. Helmets like the Scorpion 18950 have really made a mark. And so Nex is trying to go into that category. The helmet's made in both a carbon fiber construction and a composite or uh, aramid fiber proprietary mix, uh, fancy way to say you know fiberglass. Uh, carbon fiber comes in at $6.99, so not a cheap helmet. The composite version is only $5.99, so upgrade to carbon for 100 bucks, that's not a, a bad premium compared to other helmets on the market. The helmet is DOT and ECE certified. The fit is intermediate oval and true to size. I wear uh, extra large in most helmets. I'm a 24 inch circumference. Uh, the other guys on the team with various head sizes have tried this on, they all say it runs true, which is unusual for Next. In the past, some of their helmets have run pretty small. Not the case with the X Villiard. <clears throat> Three shell sizes, so you're gonna get a nice close fit. They, uh, you know, making more shell sizes is a good thing. It's exponentially more uh, expensive for the helmet manufacturer, but in a premium helmet like this one, we come to expect at least three shell sizes. It is Bluetooth ready that is sold separately. Uh, their, their proprietary Bluetooth communication kit plugs in right there. It's made by Senna. More details on that to follow here. Quick disclaimer, if you see next products sold by dealers outside of the USA at prices that seem too good to be true, that's because they are. The helmets are not DOT legal in the United States. They cannot be warranted here. And if you have to return or exchange the helmet, you're gonna have a heck of a time shipping it back and forth to Europe, so watch out for that. You've been warned. Let's dive in and see what next has cooked up here. So on the top, you're gonna see this dual sport style visor. This thing has got a lot of air gap in it. And what that is meant to do is so that this does not pull on your head. It's also pretty stubby. Um, there's really not a lot to this visor. I'm, I'm kind of concerned about how much sun it will actually block. Now, next, let's see what's in the box here. They've included some goodies. One of them is a visor extender. So this adds on to this peak here and we'll actually get you some sun protection. So if you're worried about sun and that's why you're buying a helmet like this, you're gonna wanna run the included uh, visor extender. They're giving that to you, pretty cool feature. Otherwise this looks cool and it won't pull on your head at highway speeds. So if you're gonna be on the highway for a while, you might wanna run it without the extender. They're also including uh, action camera mounts. There's one for the top and one for the side, depending on where and how you wanna mount your GoPro. So they're including that in the box. Also in the box is a nose guard. If you're gonna run this up with goggles or something like that, nose guard wouldn't be a bad idea in the dirt. And then they're including a chin curtain, all right? And typical kind of helmet sock. Let's look into what else you're getting with this helmet. Ventilation, next has a big ram air vent underneath here. Let's flip this over so you can see. That is a switchable ram air vent on the top of the helmet and of course your typical chin bar vent that is switchable as well. And so you're gonna get lots of airflow in, beautiful exhaust ports on the back, which are also switchable. The EPS in here is all ducted to get hot air out of the helmet, cool air in, and give you a nice Venturi exhaust. The eye port. <clears throat> so the eye port is 15% larger than your standard helmet. They really did their best to make a, the biggest eye port they could. Considering this is a modular helmet, a lot of times, Modular helmet eye ports get a little narrow just because of all the mechanisms that are involved, but nice big eye port with a UV blocking visor included. And then inside here, you've got your drop down sunshade. This is pin lock ready, pin lock sold separately. 
we wish they'd include that at this price point. So if you guys are listening, why don't you do that the next time around? That'd be great. Uh, down here, they've designed this visor with these um, this little airfoil here. And what that does is it's re gonna reduce noise. It creates a, a little vortex along the shield, allows air to slip off the helmet without pulling and creating noise inside of the helmet for you. So those are their vortex generators. It's got a, about four, let's see. Uh, it's a four position shield. So these detents are pretty strong. If you're the type of guy that likes to ride with that a bit open to get some air out on the road, uh, you can do that with this helmet. And it's got two latches, or not latches, but thumb holds. So you can get it with either hand, which is kind of nice. A lot of helmets only have the thumb latch on one side, so it's hard to open that guy up. All the hardware, so when you're talking about modular helmets, you have moving parts. Moving parts can degrade, corrode, break down, and fail. Next is ahead of you on that. Everything inside this helmet that moves is either treated aluminum or stainless steel that is corrosion resistant. So this mechanism is gonna last you a long time. If you have any trouble, they're backing it up with a two year warranty and SpeedX will stand behind that and help you out with any warranty issues that happen with Next Helmets. Um, again, we already went over the sunshade here. So this is nice. You don't have to carry multiple exterior shields. You're gonna get sun protection built into the helmet and you can flip that up out of the way. Some guys that don't use this, you can remove it and just run it without. You'll save a little bit of weight. And uh, that is the interior sun shield. Let's flip this over, see what's cooking underneath the old X Villiard. First thing you're gonna notice is that this opening is a bit, it looks small, right? The reason that is, is because they've done a lot of work to keep noise out of the helmet. When it comes to making a quiet helmet, the number one place noise leaks in is actually through the bottom. It's not through the front or the sides. Uh, so you wanna get a nice positive seal around the rider's head and keep that noise out. They've also used um, noise absorbing foam in the, uh, in the headliner and in the cheek pads to keep noise out. And then they've got these uh, straps that go around your chin strap here to really make sure that you've got a full curtain seal. If you're really worried about noise or wind, again, you can install that chin curtain that they're including uh, in the box with, for you. So uh, quick release chin strap. If you never had one of these on, a, on your helmet, you won't go back once you have it, especially for quick rides around town. It's really easy to get in and out of here. Let's uh, check this out real quick. Like I said, so integrated Bluetooth. That's the compartment for the computer and your controls. Once we pull this out, you're gonna see that there are also um, speaker pockets. So install on this does not take long at all. Let's flip this up out of the way. Again, just so you can see that real quick. That's what that looks like in the flipped up configuration. Okay, let's pull the insides out. All right, and we're back. We've got the guts out of this helmet. Here are your noise absorbing cheek pads and neck roll. Uh, you'll need to take this out if you're installing the Bluetooth. And here's your headliner. This is all removable, washable, easy to service. Wash it in your sink by hand, I'd recommend, rather than letting your washing machine eat that up. Okay, so once we look inside here, you're gonna see a few things. You're gonna see holes that have been drilled through the EPS or were placed there during the molding process that allows the air to get in and then channels allow the air to circulate over your scalp and out of the helmet. Down below, you're gonna see right here, this is where the speaker goes in for the Bluetooth. Down the back is where the battery pack installs. And again, this is where the computer goes in. And we'll show you the Bluetooth system. This is the next XCOM 2 made by Senna for next. This is a Senna 20 series um, equivalent. It is Bluetooth 4.1, supports up to eight riders, and it's got a one mile range. So pretty solid system, again, sold separately, but installs in just a few minutes and you'll be ready to ride. All in, this is a very, very unique helmet. You're not gonna see many necks on the road, which I do like. Price point is a bit high, but this is a full carbon construction and it's got all the gadgets and features that you could really want. This is aircraft quality carbon fiber. Next really stresses that, that their carbon weave is unique and stronger than most other helmets as well as you know very lightweight. The weight did come in at 3.8 pounds on our scale. While that's not light for a typical helmet, 
it is pretty light for a modular helmet. For example, the Shoei Neotech 2 comes in over four pounds. I think it's like 4.1 pounds. So relatively lightweight and you can grab yours over at speedaddicts.com today. Remember shopping is risk-free at Speed Addicts, free exchanges and returns. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time and find out what's in the crate.